Kevin, what is latency? So latency is measuring the amount of time that it takes for traffic to travel over a network. So commonly, if you're thinking about a computer or your phone sending a request to the internet, how long does it take for it to send that out and get a response over the internet connection? Traffic over internet connections is usually split up into what we call packets. Packets are little segments of information, and you can measure how long a particular packet takes to send and then get a response back from another device or a server on the internet. So what does a good latency look like? So most internet connections, if you're below, say, 50 milliseconds, that's pretty good. Good signal cellular can be in you know, the 40 to 60 range. With 5G, they're, they're getting it even lower. Typical wired internet connections, or you're talking below 10 milliseconds, if it's good, go for good fiber connection. And when do you start worrying? When do you say, oh, I've got high latency, this is bad? Once you start to get above 100 milliseconds, it can start having an effect, things can start going wrong. And then certainly once you're into the hundreds of milliseconds, it's usually pretty bad. If you're over a second of latency, can see that's that's a really long time that can really have a bad effect on performance and how long your experience takes requesting something it takes a long time to get responses back so the other thing is loss how much loss can internet connection handle before things start looking ugly so again this is codependent on the on the latency the worse the latency gets the longer it takes for something to get retransmitted you know if a packet gets lost and dropped usually you need to resend it to get it through right so the guy has to say i didn't get it and that has to come back and then you have to send it again so so the long longer the latency is, the longer the time it takes to send a request and get it back, the longer it takes to resend these packets if something gets lost. So the higher the latency, the less loss it can tolerate. So something that's very low latency can tolerate more loss, whereas something that's higher latency it is more affected by even just a little bit of loss. So even that just, makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes even just, you know, losing 1% of packets or less than 1% of packets can be enough to significantly impact and drop half the speed of a connection. Wow. You would expect it to be more like, you know, losing half your packets would cut your speed in half. Yeah. And so often a lot of the internet is based on TCP, which is this reliable transport protocol for transmitting your packets and make sure that everything is delivered in order and that all the packets get through. And a lot of the way that historically behaves is that it slows down when it notices that anything is lost. So it really backs off the speed a lot, even just if one packet gets lost. And so this can have a detrimental effect on performance. There's some newer congestion control algorithms that are working to react better if packets get lost and expect that they might get lost, you know, if you're on a wireless link and still keep the speed higher. But yeah, it can, packet loss can still have quite a big effect. You like this video so far? Subscribe to our channel for more tech tips, Speedify how-tos, and our weekly office hours live streams where we answer your tech questions live. Okay, so got it. You want latency as low as possible. You want zero loss, but in real life, that's not what happens. You often get just terrible connections and somehow Speedify seems to often make things better. So what is it that Speedify is doing for people with loss and latency that makes their internet better? So Speedify has a few different tactics. Even if you have just a single internet connection, Speedify has detection for when you lose packets and it can preemptively retransmit them before you know TCP or before your application notices, which can really give a boost to the speed that you would see versus if without Speedify. So there's certain cases where people just running Speedify over their internet connection, if it's very lossy, they can see an improvement with Speedify and some of our error correction capabilities. But then beyond that, Speedify can take advantage of multiple internet connections. So if it's noticing excessive latency or loss on one connection, it can send those packets over a different internet connection over a different path over the internet and get them through potentially quicker for the, the other side notices that they're missing. And this can help to you know, cover up any gaps in a connection. If a connection starts to drop out or has a spike of latency or a spike of loss, you can cover that up with the other connections. So tell me about the difference between speed mode and redundant mode. So speed mode in Speedify is trying to bind your connections to get the most speed that it can. If you have two 10 megabit connections, it's trying to add them up to get 20 megabits. Redundant mode is focused more on reliability, getting your packets through in the most reliable way it can and the lowest latency way it can. So if you have two connections that are a little bit unreliable or the latency is varying, Speedify will send the same packets over both connections at the same time and deliver whichever one gets through first. So it can give you the, the minimum latency across your two connections. So this is good if you're you know, doing things that are like gaming or stock trading that are really dependent on latency, very latency sensitive, and to any drops, then using redundant mode can help make sure it sends it over multiple paths and that it gets through. But of course, that means you know more battery usage or bandwidth more, usage. More bandwidth usage but you know things just get through i know a bunch of radio stations have in fact been using speedify this way that when they leave the studio they have a raspberry pi with multiple cellular connections and they said redundant so it's sent on every cell phone network and they put it back together and delivered studio because they're not worried about using too much data just audio they're sending they really don't want to be embarrassed by ever going offline. They'll use Speedify with three different cell phones stay on. 
Yeah, that's a good strategy. Yeah, we notice also with people with Starlink, where Starlink can drop out or have spikes of high latency, being able to cover that up with another connection, have another lower latency connection. Maybe it doesn't have a lot of bandwidth, but it can still provide that more stable latency. Yeah, I've been seeing a couple of people write in saying that they decided to keep their DSL. Right. Right. They thought it was terrible, only one megabit up or whatever. But filling in those gaps where the Starlink suddenly stops working, even getting one megabit up can you know, stop your call from hanging up. So how does Speedify know what the latency and the loss on these internet connections is. So as different packets are coming through Speedify, Speedify is adding our own header, our own little bit of information to each packet. It allows us to track the ordering of the packets and we can track the timing of when particular packets were sent. So when we get responses back, we're constantly measuring the latency over the different connections. We're watching for packets that get dropped or packets that don't get acknowledgements back. So we know when something is missing. So we can decide to resend something over a different internet connection or monitor that the latency is starting to increase. We might need to shift some traffic away or that we're reaching the limit of what that connection can do. So we're monitoring all these stats in real time as we're sending each packet and making adjustments on the fly so we can dynamically really quickly react to the changes in each internet connection. Now that you understand more about how Speedify handles latency and loss, check out our other video about how Speedify works with Starlink because we explain all the surprises we ran into with Starlink and all the improvements we made to make sure that Speedify can help you enjoy your online experience Starlink with no interruptions.